The Libyan ship carrying aid had left Greece on Saturday, aiming for impoverished Gaza. But it ended up pulling into the Egyptian port of El Arish Thursday instead, the green Libyan flags decorating the deck of Amalthea fluttering in the sea breeze. The Israeli navy had headed it off the day before still enforcing a blockade on Gaza despite the incident back in May when nine pro-Palestinian activists were killed in a raid on a similar aid-bearing ship. The Amalthea docked safely, although activists like Assam al-Sudani would have preferred it got all the way into Gaza. I am not totally happy with what happened. All my colleagues are not happy with the situation. I am Egyptian, and Egypt is my homeland. And I don't accept that the Israelis are dictating to me what I have to do. In Gaza City, though, Hamas spokesman Sami Abu Zuri said it illustrated an important point. We consider that this ship has achieved the objectives it has set out to achieve. It has demonstrated that Gaza is still under siege and that all the claims peddled by the occupation, that Gaza is no longer under siege, are nothing but false, unfounded propaganda. Through the day Thursday, though, teams were busy unloading Amalthea's cargo, which Egyptian officials said would be transported overland by the Red Cross crescent into Hamas-controlled territory. The Gaddafi Foundation, headed up by the son of Libya's leader, said the ship had been carrying 2,000 tons of food and medical supplies. Israelis have defended their blockade by insisting it's vital to keep weapons out of Hamas hands. Israel also bars cement and steel from going to Gaza, claiming they could be used for military purposes. Karen Sloan, The Associated Press.